drop a like and sub in the next 5 seconds and this will be your Fortnite account. If you don't, this will be your account. With the release of Fortnite Season 4, we have an all brand new free skin bundle that you guys can get for yourselves here inside of Fortnite. Well, in today's video, we're going to be going over all of these brand new free skin bundles and how you guys will be able to obtain them, alongside some pretty cool free rewards as well. Just quickly, 75% of you guys are not subscribed, which means you are missing out on a chance for a free gift inside of the Fortnite item shop, as we do get 5 new and all subscribers every single day inside of it. If any of you guys are going to be in need of a gift, all you have to do is drop a like on this video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel channel with the post notification bell turned on and most importantly make sure to drop a comment down below with your epic games id what item from the item shop you would like to have gifted to you on your account and well today we do have the brand new cypher pk icon series skin which is definitely one of the better icon series skins we currently have in the game and well i've also hidden a secret word in this video which give you an even better chance of receiving a gift from me inside of the item shop so make sure you keep your eyes open for it and finally if you have been picking up anything for yourself do consider using my support credit code yt or ray as a great support the channel and it allows me to do even more giveaways for you guys hashtag ad. and with all of that being said let's get straight into today's video first of all obviously you guys would have seen that we do have spider gwen as the tier 100 skin here inside of season 4 don't forget that we did have leaks a few months ago that we would eventually be seeing spider gwen added to the game alongside spider-man miles morales obviously is a fan favorite character in the spider-man universe well it looks like spider-man miles morales will be coming to the game in the near future as it was leak forever ago at this point that Miles Morales would be arriving in the game. I believe this is a collaboration for the upcoming Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse movie which was actually delayed until next year but originally was supposed to be releasing in the next two months. That explains why we do have Spider-Gwen as the tier 100 skin inside of this season which is obviously the version of Spider-Gwen from that movie. Well obviously with this movie being a Miles Morales focused movie with him being the main character obviously he will be arriving in the game later in the season most likely inside of the Fortnite item shop. Later, I don't think they will be adding another Spider-Man skin to a battle pass for quite some time. When this skin was actually leaked in the past, it was said that there will be two different Miles Morales skins arriving in Fortnite soon. The first one being the cell shaded version, which obviously would fit the theme of the Spider-Gwen outfit, as obviously it does have a lot of different cell shading things on it. Kind of confirms we will be seeing this version of Spider-Man Miles Morales when it does arrive inside of the item shop in the next upcoming weeks. Not only that, it was also leaked that when Spider-Man Miles Morales arrives in the game, he will be getting his very own free skin cup where you guys actually can participate in that in order to get the skin for free. I definitely would participate in that cup if you obviously are confident in these cups considering they are normally a little bit harder than usual. Obviously when the skin arrives inside of the item shop I will be hooking up a ton of you guys with a brand new skin so be sure to let me know down in the comments will you guys be needing the new Spider-Man Miles Morales outfit. I most likely will be coming with these two different edit styles obviously with the first one being his streetwear version and the second edit style most likely will have him without a mask on along alongside with his traditional Spider-Man outfit. It was leaked as well that we should be seeing another version of Spider-Man Miles Morales arrive in the game in the future, most likely the release of the upcoming Spider-Man 2 game that will be releasing on PlayStation 5. More or less would look like this as you can see up on screen, and I have to say definitely looks like a super cool skin and I definitely will be picking it up when it does arrive. Well, it actually was leaked today as well, the brand new Iron Man Zero outfit, which obviously is going to be a bonus outfit that a ton of you guys will be able to get for absolutely free. If you have been picking up all of the previous issues of the Zero War comic book, which means you would have had to redeem the code for the Spider-Man Zero skin, the Adamantium Claws pickaxe, the Stark 7 weapon wrap, the Snick Snick spray, and then with the final issue of the Zero War comic book releasing on the 28th of September, in just 5 days time, you will be getting the brand new Zero War loading screen. Once you've redeemed all 5 of the codes, you automatically will be unlocking the brand new Iron Man Zero outfit. As you can see up on screen, as was leaked, as you can see, it actually looks super sick. It does have tons of different edits though, such as being able to unmask it and see Iron Man's head underneath it alongside with a 7 edit style. You can also change the visors around to whatever one you do like. Alongside getting a brand new Iron Man Zero loading screen alongside the back bling, the Stark 7 weapon wrap if you guys obviously haven't gotten that already. Brand new harvesting tool that you actually only can use with the Iron Man Zero skin and then finally a built in emo which will allow you to change through the edit styles. But don't worry if you have not been redeeming all of these codes as they have been releasing, it actually will be releasing in the item shop on the 28th of September as well, the exact same day you guys will be able to get it for free. Be sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys are missing any of these Zero War codes, which obviously will help you get this skin for 
for free or would you like to have it gifted to you on your account when obviously it does release? Realistically, it would be a bonus to pick up these comic books as well as we are actually getting tons of different storyline information in them such as the reveal of Geno. You can see here is what Geno does look like in this comic book in colour and I have to say he definitely does look super cool and he most likely will be arriving in the game in the near future as a brand new upcoming skin. Also a quick reminder that the reboot rally is still ongoing right now and it's actually super easy to complete all of these challenges by yourself. All you will need to do in order to do all of these is literally just make yourself an alt account obviously with it being a brand new Fortnite account you can actually enable this for the reboot rally and that way you can easily complete all of the challenges giving you the brand new red hot revenge pickaxe along with the brand new glider also the brand new wrap and also the emoticon which I definitely would recommend you guys go ahead and get considering obviously this is a reskin of the raiders revenge harvesting tool it has not been seen in the game ever since chapter 1 season 1 well, we've also gotten even more information about some upcoming updates that will be arriving over the course of Season 4 as well, such as that we will be getting motorbikes and also the addition of the brand new skateboard vehicle this season. As you can see from one of these teasers that were actually sent to a different content creator, as you can see he does pull from the cereal box a little miniature version of a chrome motorbike and also a chrome skateboard. Obviously we've had leaks about those brand new vehicles arriving in the game for quite some time now as we were expecting to actually see them arrive last season inside of Season 3. Also, we have just gotten confirmation that the very next update arriving side of this season will be a releasing on the 3rd of October, which most likely will mean the addition of Fort Nightmares 2022. Consider we normally get the Halloween update early October, which normally lasts for the entire month. And it does look like this entire event will actually be focused around the brand new Herald character. It does seem to be heavily related to the Cube Queen character that obviously we did see last year when we did have the Wrath of the Cube Queen event. We will be able to unlock the brand new Herald skin closer to the release of Fort Nightmares as well, considering it will be releasing on the 3rd of November. Obviously, it's just three days after Halloween. Well, today we have just gotten the release of the Fortnite 5th birthday event where you can actually get yourself some pretty cool free rewards as well. Just getting a brand new harvesting tool, a brand new back bling, and also a brand new spray, which you can get easily by getting all of these brand new 3 challenges. It seems to be more or less the exact same every single year, considering obviously we've had 5 different Fortnite birthday events. And also, with the upcoming Fortnite Mirrors event obviously happening really soon, it does look like we're also going to be seeing the addition of brand new zombies soon as well. Did you make it appearance every single year and obviously this year it looks like they are going to be more of a chrome zombie obviously would fit the theme of this entire season being called Fortnite Paradise. It is safe to say that with every Fortnite update we get inside of season 4 the chrome most likely will be taking over even more of the map. You can see across the Fortnite map this season we do actually have these giant blimps that are kind of lifting the POIs above the ground. Could even pave the way for next season obviously being Fortnite Chapter 3 season 5 being on a brand new map. So far we have had three different maps over the course of Fortnite's entire lifetime. Those three previous maps have obviously been called Apollo, Artemis and also Athena. Looks like Fortnite have begun testing a brand new map code which is actually being called Estrella. Should be a part of Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 5 so it could even mean we could be moving into Chapter 4 next season. But obviously next season we're probably going to be getting a ton of brand new map changes. Fortunately that is all I pretty much have for you guys in today's video. For the secret word of today's video it is going to be the word Chrome. So if you did watch all the way to the very end of this video make sure to drop that word down in the comments alongside with your epic games id and if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like on it subscribe to the channel if you are new and i'll talk to you all in the next one peace